Welcome! This is the former Shizuzani School, designated as a National Special Historic Site of Japan. On a visit to the region about 350 years ago, Mitsumasa Ikeda, the Lord of the Okayama Domain, was so impressed with the quiet and peaceful valley nestled deep in the mountains that he recommended it as a place for learning. He ordered Nagata Ratsuda, his chief vassal, to build a public school for common people on the site. It's the oldest public school for common people in Japan and perhaps in the entire world. We introduced this school to the world with great pride. The school was founded during the reign of Ietsuna. Fourth Shogun of the Edo period. Japan was a feudal society at that time with a rigid social class system. The prevailing attitude among the ruling class was that peasants could be made to follow the rule but could not be made to understand it. At that time, building a school for common people, including peasants, to educate and uplift them was revolutionary. Most of the buildings of this school are designated as nationally important cultural properties. The lecture hall is designated as national treasure, the highest level of cultural importance. The red ceramic roof tiles are manufactured in the nearby Bizen region and known throughout Japan as Bizen Ware. Construction of the school buildings began in 1670, which was in the early Edo period and lasted about 30 years. The site as it presently stands was completed in 1701. It was a time when Tsunamasa, the successor of Lord Mitsumasa, reigned as the second lord of the Okayama domain. Nagata Datsuda well understood the far-reaching intent of Lord Mitsumasa to create an everlasting sanctuary of learning for the common people. He carefully chose building materials to build beautiful and long-lasting structures. Additionally, Lord Mitsumasa transferred ownership of the fields, mountains, and forests that stretched five kilometers south of the school from the Okayama domain to the school. The school used these lands as a source of sustainable income to support the school in perpetuity. Now we will visit each building on the site. The school gate is adorned with a depiction of Shachihoko, a fabulous dolphin-like fish. It is the main gate of the school. It is also called Kakumemo, the calling crane gate a reference to the cry of the crane, which can be heard from a great distance. That name reflects the school's expectation that because of their devotion and hard work, the student's reputation for wisdom would carry a great distance, just like the cry of the crane. It also comes from the school's hope that the reputation of a Shizu Tani school's education would be widely known to the public. With the school gate at your back, there are two buildings in front of you. The building on the right is the Shizutani Jinji Shrine that honors the founder of this school, Lord Mitsumasa Ikeda. It should be noted that the design of a swallow-tailed butterfly molded into the roof tiles of the Shizutani Jinji Shrine is one of the family crests of the Ikeda family. The higher building to the left of the Shizutani Jinji Shrine is the Confucian Shrine. 
dedicated to Confucius. In the Edo period, the Shizutani Jinji Shrine was called the Higashimido East Shrine or Horetsushi, and the Confucian Shrine was called the Nishimido West Shrine. Comparing the two buildings, the Shizutani Jinji Shrine is built on a site approximately one meter lower than the Confucian Shrine. It's also a bit smaller, reflecting humble gratitude to the teacher, Confucius, even by the Lord. In the back of the Confucian shrine is the Taiseiden Hall, which holds a gold colored statue of Confucius. The academic discipline at that time was Confucianism. It is said that the students, aged 8 to 19, swore to Confucius, We will study your teachings all day long today. They learned the four books and the five classics of Confucianism, including the Analects of Confucius. The two large trees in front of the Confucian shrine are Chinese pistache trees which are called kai in Japanese. These trees are not indigenous to Japan and are very rare here. The trees in front of the Confucian shrine were started as transplants using seeds harvested from a tree that grew near the grave of Confucius in China. In mid-November, the leaves of these trees display brilliant autumn colors. Please visit our reception desk for some pictures of the tree's beautiful autumn scenery. Looking to the left, the largest building is the lecture hall, which is designated as a national treasure. The lecture hall has a hip and gable roof construction on separate planes. It was the most solemn place for education in the school. The area inside the ten large wooden pillars made from the Zelkova tree is the inner room, while the area outside the pillars is referred to as the entrance area. On the days with 1 and 6 in the date, which include the 1st, 6th, 11th, 16th, 21st, 26th, and 31st of each month, the professor sat in front of the lectern and the students sat in the inner room to receive lectures on the four books such as the Analects of Confucius. The floor of the lecture hall is lacquered. It shines like a mirror because the students who have studied here since the Meiji era polished and protected it. There is almost no decoration in the hall. The neat and clean structure represents the school's serious learning spirit of that time. The shadows of the bell-shaped windows are cast on the polished floor, creating a solemn atmosphere in this place of teaching and learning. Displayed on the front wall inside the building is a plaque with the school regulations, Sadame. It was written by Lord Tsunamasa and designated as the national treasure. The first regulation requires that students enrolling in Shizutani school must study properly and courteously. The black plaque on the right side of Sadame is Shubun Kogaki. It is always set up at schools where Neo-Confucianism was taught. Also, on the eastern wall inside the building, there is a frame showing three letters, Koku Mei Toku, written by Lord Harumasa, the fifth lord of the Okayama domain. Now, please look at the front of the lecture hall outside. This small building is the Lord's resting room, 
used by the Lord while visiting the school. The roofing method used in this building is called kokerabuki, in which thin wood boards are used as a roofing material. The ceiling is made of a type of bamboo, usually used for making arrows. The elegant architectural style of the Lord's resting room is called Sukiya Zukuri, and it's based on the style of a Japanese tea ceremony building. There is a sunken fireplace, which is a half a size of a tatami mat, and placed in one corner of a tatami mat room so that it can be used from both the first and the second rooms. The contrast between the small Lord's resting room and the magnificent lecture hall provides a balance and harmony, characteristic of the work of Nagata Datsuda, who also made the famous Korakuen Park. To the west of the lecture hall is the classroom, which has an area of about 48 tatami mats, or approximately 77 square meters, and the tea house, which is about half that size. The classroom was used for learning the five classics of Confucianism. The tea house was used by students for having tea and waiting for classes. On the right side of the dirt floor, there is an area for placing cups. There is a sunken fireplace in the middle of the floor with a note of caution carved in Chinese on the edge of the fireplace that reads, don't make a fire using any materials except charcoal. The gate in front of the tea house called the tea house gate was used by teachers and students. The gate in front of the Lord's resting room is the official gate used by the Lord. The building with the thick earthen walls situated to the west of the tea house is the library. It's equivalent to a present day library story. To the west of the library, you can see a small hill lined with a stone wall at the bottom. This is a man-made hill called the Fire Prevention Embankment. To the west of the Fire Prevention Embankment were the dormitories. The embankment was built to prevent fire spreading from the dormitory area to the lecture hall or to the Confucian shrine. Around this stone wall, 765 meters in length, surrounds the school. No grass grows on the wall because the interior of the wall is comprised of ground stone rather than soil. Prior to construction, the ground stone was washed with water to prevent grass from growing. Also, you will find some draining areas leading to underground culverts. Let's look at the few examples of the careful planning and design found in the school buildings. Under the eaves, Linen cloth is wrapped around the tips of the rafters and coated with black lacquer to prevent decay. You can also see that on the edges of the eaves are thin pipes made of bizen ware. Roofing boards are laid on the rafters. Wooden shingles called kokera are placed on top of the roofing boards, similar to the roofing style seen in the Lord's resting room. Drain boards 33 centimeters wide and 5 centimeters thick are laid on top of the kokera and lacquered. Finally, ceramic tiles are placed on top of the drain boards. Even if one of the tiles breaks, any rainfall will drain off the drain board underneath the roof tiles, and the water is drained away through the ceramic pipes. When the weather is good, 
air enters through the ceramic pipes to dry the roof. In front of the school gate, there is a pond called Hanji, imitating the pattern of a Confucian study in China. The stone bridge over the pond is also designated as an important cultural property. The building visible to the west of the fire prevention embankment was used as a high school building until 1964 and is currently the school's history museum. Please visit. It is now designated as the nation's registered tangible cultural property. From the Edo period to the Meiji era, there were boarding houses for teachers and officials and dormitories for students on this site. After leaving the reception desk to the east, there is Camellia Hill, which is part of the special historic site. Approximately 400 camellia trees are planted on the hill. There is a mound at the back of the hill where some of Lord Mitsumasa's hair, beard, teeth, and nails were buried. After leaving the historic site, the building on the left by the river is the Shizutani School Youth Education Center. If you follow the small path called the Path of the Analects of Confucius along the river, you will see the remains of the residence of Nagatada Tsuda who designed and built the school. Also, you'll see a tea house building called Koyote. It has been visited several times by literary figures such as Rai Sanyo and Kanchazan. In addition, there is the stone gate, the first gate of this school, about one kilometer south of the school. We hope this brief explanation helps. Please take time and enjoy.